kind of wanted to talk a little bit about gym confidence. You have to have the mindset that you are that bitch. You are a boss. You are there to crush your workout, okay? If you think about it, the gym is literally a room just full of workout machines. It's not that serious, okay? You know those mornings where you wake up like so frantic <laughs> and you're like, oh my god, I missed my class. That literally just happened to me right now. <laughs> Except I already decided last night that I was going to skip my morning class. Mm. Let's get this crust off my face. <laughs> Not me using my iPhone camera as a mirror because I don't have a mirror in here. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Another day, another vlog. So as you can tell, we are here, not in my New York City apartment. We're here at my parents' apartment, back in Jersey. Feels nice to be back. I haven't been back here in so long. And dun -dun -dun. I know you guys miss my mom's fruit plate. <laughs> Look at that beauty. Not gonna lie guys, living alone, I don't always eat fruit every day. I'm just not responsible enough to be like cutting fruit like this every morning. Nor do I have the time or energy. <laughs> About to take some pre-workout. This is the Pride pre-workout in strawberry snow cone. Use code Lena10 for money off. Come on. Yeah, it's okay. My mom was vacuuming. Bottoms up. <laughs> Alright guys, so today is upper body day. Who is she? Nah, I keep saying that, but I've been actually doing upper body pretty consistently And I think I could speak for a lot of girls But when you first start working out a lot of girls feel fear that if they lift too heavy or if they train upper body too much That they're gonna become like huge and look like the rock or, <laughs> or like Arnold Schwarzenegger or something It's just not true. It's actually really hard to build your upper body Like trust me, I've been working out for three years and I still have noodle arms. You're not gonna become brolic. You're not gonna become Come huge. Don't be afraid to do upper body guys. Hitting upper body is very important too. I'm also gonna be doing some cardio because I had ramen and ice cream last night and I'm just like feeling super bloated overall. So let's go. Woo, I feel that pre-workout kicking in. Let's kill this workout. I'm dying. I post cardio sweat. <laughs> they haven't seen you in a while. I'm on my way back to my apartment in the city because my group for one of my projects is meeting at 4 p.m. I'm actually getting there straight at 4 p.m. So I'm a little stressed out. <laughs> I wanted to spend more time in Jersey, but I couldn't because of this group project. Hello vlog, so we are back in my New York City apartment. I'm kind of rushing right now because I have to meet my group at the NYU library. And I honestly haven't even done that much today, but I'm already so tired. It's taking like every fiber of my being to not lay in my bed and just take a fat nap. But yeah, speaking of being tired, <laughs> I want to thank Verb Energy for sponsoring this video. This baby right here. I partnered with them before because I genuinely love Verb Energy bars. Like I eat them all the time, especially times like this where I'm feeling tired and I have to go to class 
class. So times like now in the middle of the day where I'm feeling kind of a crash and I need that kind of quick boost of energy, I love eating these bars. So their bars are infused with organic green tea and each little bar has the same amount of caffeine as an espresso shot, but without all the crash and jitters at the end. They're super small and convenient. I just pop one in my bag or sometimes I even eat it before a workout. They also have a bunch of different flavors. This is my personal favorite. It's vanilla latte. It literally tastes exactly like a Starbucks vanilla latte, but they have other flavors like lemon raspberry, coconut chai, and their recent one is red velvet. So Verb offers this really cool free trial pack where you could try their top four flavors for just the price of shipping, which is less than a dollar. So if you guys are interested in trying Verb Energy out, don't forget to click the link in my description box. And yeah, that's that on that. Now I really have to go get ready to meet my group mates before they tattletale on me and say I don't do work to the teacher. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm back home and I'm eating some Halo Top. If you don't know about Halo Top, now you know. This whole thing is only 290 calories and it's actually really good. Obviously nothing hits the same as regular ice cream, but you know, if you're trying to watch your calories, this is the way to go. So while I'm eating this ice cream, I figured I'd be productive because this is a fitness vlog. I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about gym confidence because a lot of you guys asked me questions about it and in my last vlog you guys said that you like when I do these talking things. Sometimes I get a little insecure about talking in front of the camera because I feel like I'm boring. You guys asked for it so you're getting it. So I wrote a little list here that tips that help me personally gain gym confidence. So especially if you're new to the gym, I completely understand that anxious feeling, that scared feeling as soon as you walk into the gym. And having confidence in the gym is something I really had to work up to because when I first went, I had none. None at all. But now I would say I'm very confident. There's some days where I still feel anxious at times, but we're human, we all feel anxious sometimes. So yeah, tips on gaining gym confidence. I don't wanna talk while I'm eating. <laughs> So the first tip is to have a mindset change. If you're going to the gym, it's because you want to better yourself, you know, physically, mentally, whatever it is. So you're not there to try to impress anybody. You are there to work on yourself. The gym is a place where everyone should be working on themselves and trying to better themselves and improve themselves. And so when you kind of like stop thinking about what other people think of you at the gym, you kind of like relieve that pressure. For the most part, everyone is so focused on their own workout that they could care less like if you look awkward at the gym or if they think that you're a newcomer to the gym. Like, And if they do, they're... Lame. You have to have the mindset that you are that bitch. You watching this video, you are that bitch. You are a boss. You are there to crush your workout, okay? If you think about it, the gym is literally a room just full of workout machines. It's not that serious, okay? So yeah, gaining gym confidence comes with time. Obviously, go out of your comfort zone, push your boundaries, and feel uncomfortable sometimes, but eventually you will get there. So now I have some little tips. So the first thing that helps me a lot is to wear something cute. I love wearing cute gym clothes. That's why I spend a good amount of my money. I probably should stop, but kind of pushes me to work out more, if that makes sense. And when you look cute at the gym, you kind of feel excited to go to the gym. And when you feel cute, you feel more confident. Second is like the best tip, honestly, and it's have your workout plan beforehand. I used to do this all the time, especially when I was a beginner. You know the notes app on your phone? Utilize it. I have like probably a hundred workouts in my phone. Going into the gym prepared and ready and knowing what you're doing will prevent that kind of awkwardness when you're at the gym and you're kind of like feeling like everyone's staring at you and you're like, oh my God, which machine do I use? Like, what am I doing? So it's good to have kind of like your workout planned ahead of time. So you go in prepared knowing what you're gonna do. Another tip is that I tend to go to like the corner of the gym um, to do my workout. Sometimes like when you're in the center of the gym, you feel kind of like everyone's staring at you and you start to get in your own head. Sometimes it just kind of relieves that pressure. And this last tip, I used to do this all the time when I would work out and it is going to the gym straight in the morning, like AM. I'm talking about like six, seven, 8 a.m., 9 a.m. That time is usually the time where the most serious gym goers go to the gym. I know that might seem intimidating, but it actually helped me a lot because I noticed that when I would go to the gym during like late afternoon, four o'clock, five o'clock, like peak time, that that's when everyone and their mom is at the gym, okay? And like I see people that I know and I just like get all anxious. And instead of focusing on your workout, you're focusing on everybody that's there. So when I would go super early in the morning, I would see all these people that are like, that woke up at the crack ass of dawn, just like me to work out. They're like going super hard at their workouts before their day. And it honestly just 
just motivated me seeing them and when you go to the gym in the morning there's barely any people so you could feel more comfortable so yeah that's all my tips I really hope that helped obviously the tips that I mentioned are not long term but long term gym confidence you will get that with time and yeah oh my god I talk so much that my ice cream is literally so melted now <laughs> So this is a package I've been waiting for for so long. So excited right now to open this. Anytime I get something with a manual, I always try to figure it out by myself because I just, I cannot bother myself reading that. Oh my God, it has a speaker too. Oh my God, it looks so cool. I'm not sure how good this Bluetooth speaker is going to be, but we'll see. Oh my God. Do you guys see? It's like moving. Ooh. I feel like I'm in like an alien spaceship right now. I'm loving this. Green, blue, red. Ooh, that's so pretty. Let's see if the Bluetooth speaker works well. I highly doubt it. I'm gonna figure it out. Bluetooth connection. Yay! All right, let's see if it works. Okay. Volume maximize. That was creepy. It's a lot of hoes in here, a lot of lost souls. Poor and bitches and they involved. This goes. Sorry I was busy, but I missed y'all.